In this training session, we're going to review the gate in process for DS5 PC. And first, we're going to go see what accounts we have and what our settings are. So we're going to pick the Crowley account for testing. We can go to the activity tab and we can see the switch controls that are turned on and off for the gate uh, in or out processes. So we're requiring a driver, a truck, it's auto creating interchanges. We're allowing to ground containers. We're allowing to use gensets. And these are our condition codes. And if we were to turn this on, it would have to have a good order status to go out the gate. We also have chassis pools in the system, which means that these Crawley containers could be used with these DCLI chassis. By looking at the, <clears throat> the pooling or adding a pool, we can connect them here. So we can see that these DCLI chassis are allowed to be used with these Crowley boxes, and we could have more than one pool here if needed, or no pools if you do not want to do any sharing. Save this. Now we can go to the Ingate screen. We can enter in a container number. If you put in a bad container number, which means that anything is bad, letters or numbers, the check digit tech checking will tell you if it thinks it's right or wrong. If you get this message, it means that anything could be wrong with that number. Please verify the complete number and letters. In this case, I know this is a test number, so I'm going to say yes to continue using it. I'm going to start typing my account to filter my list for Crawley. Going to pick a size type and going to make up a chassis number. First of all, if you only have a container only, you can leave this blank, this blank, select a trucker, change your date and time down here if needed, and at that point you could do save and print, which will save and print an interchange copy, or save TIR, which will just save it into the system. If I have more equipment to put with this, like I want to add a chassis, I'm going to put in my chassis. And now I can pick my account. And if I pick this account, DCLI, this container, this chassis will come in together. They will be split after the end gate, so each one will go into its own account because the accounts are different. If I were to keep the accounts the same, they would come in and they would stay mounted together. This container would remain with this chassis. If I check this on, it's going to be this container will be a container only for Crowley. This chassis will be a chassis only for Crowley after it gates in. I'm going to leave the two together and just do a straight gate into the Crowley account. The other information that's on the screen is not mandatory. If needed, you can change it. If you want to change the status condition, you can pick from the list. And if you want to make a note that will show up on most of the reports, you have an area here that you can type in. If you want to say something about damages, you can type it here. And the same with the chassis. So I'm now ready to ingate this box and chassis together for Crowley for this trucker. If I wanted to pre-book it, I could pick an import, export, if, or if it's a load, and fill in that information. We'll do that on the next test, but for right now, this is it. I'm going to save, and I now have a container in the system. In order to verify that, I'm going to go to Equipment. I'm going to pick my Crowley account. I'm going to say in yard only, search. Here is the unit that we just did, dated today, and it stayed together because we told it to use the same account for both. Here's my comments. Everything that we put in is in this inside the system now. Okay, for this Ingate test, we are going to bring in a loaded container. So we are going to put in another container number. And we are once again going to pick Crawley, and 
20 foot standard. And if you're unsure about your size types, um, you can see the descriptions down the side. And these can be modified under the utility screen. Edit size types are here. Edit trucker codes are here. And edit repair codes are here. So all three of the pick lists on the Engate screen can be modified from this area here. Also, one other note is that you can click any one of these buttons once across the top and you can keep one of each screen working so if I want to go back to the in gate I can click in gate if I want to go back to equipment I can click equipment and each screen can be kept running that way you can jump back and forth without having to find or open and close windows all the time I'm going to go back to my in gate screen I'm going to pick a 20 foot standard I'm going to say that this is going to be a export that's just coming into the depot for a short time. I'm going to book it. I'm going to give it a seal number and a wait. I'm going to pick a trucker and I can see there are more things in these tabs if needed but at this point we're really just using the export load we're saying that this is a load we've got our seal number um, it's going to pre-book it with a booking number and we're not needing any other information at this time so and here's the booking number that it's going to create so I'm going to save this I can go back to equipment check my Crawley account I can see here is my loaded container that came in it's got an L for load it has a booking number on it so it's pre-booked I can see the information if I go to the loaded tab I can see the details about the load if I go to the booking system I can see that a booking has been created automatically for the pre-booking of this box and the booking details are here and one unit is assigned to that booking which is the unit that we just gated in so now this unit is in the system ready to go and it would be clear to go out with this booking when someone comes to pick this box up also as a note that when you're reviewing the gate out portion of the system or the bookings the gate in that we did pre-books everything so that it will be clear to go out on the out screen automatically without having you to come in and do any extra work and also as you are doing your gate ins um, and you're hitting if you're hitting the save and print it will be printing out interchange um, they will look like this in this window by default this is the generic print that comes with depot systems this print can be modified in the system to be changed and you can also contact uh, uh, support at Depot Systems to have them make changes for you too. Um, but these can be modified as needed um, to print from a laser printer and print multiple copies if needed. And that is it. That concludes the gate in portion. And um, that's all.